welcome back to um Life is Strange episode three. What is this episode called? Uh, I don't know. But let's just continue. St like starting right off after I finished episode two, mostly because I kind of want to catch up with everyone else that is currently like doing episode five, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, this is the reveal and all this other crap." And I'm just like. So, episode three! Yeah. That's nice. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We call the film Little Pieces of Time. It's because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick here. of people trying to control me! Freak! It totally makes sense. You Lag. have my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice, the consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Note to self, I am still eating candy from the last one. I try to make it less noticeable. Crap. The candy, man. Chocolate. I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. I'm thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Alright, well, let's feed the rabbit. Are you a hungry bunny? Because that's just mean to have food, like, outside the cage. And you're sitting there looking at it and you're, like, hungry. I've had that happen before. It's called going to the store when you're hungry. <laughs> Floor lamp! Can I look at it? Yay! Like, look at our plant. See, Lisa? At least I kept you alive. I guess I'm better with plants than Again, people. you named your plant Lisa. I am just saying. There, let's switch that off. Um, okay, well, let's just go. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... You know, I've actually been inside a school after hours. It is actually quite fun. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Wherever you go, there I am. That's actually kind of a... I wouldn't say depressing. So much hypocrite. Yep. God. That's like some awful TV crime scene in a... This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. Do you ever think about where you go after you die? I do it all the time. Probably more than a normal person. 
um, anyway, um, back to that thing I was talking about on the slate, wherever you go, there I am. That's kind of a, I want to say sexy thought, like seductive, romantic, dark, romantic thing. I'm into like awesome gothic crap. Dana's really hurting over this. It's kind of cool what she did with like the cross and the shadow. Hey Dana, how are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate and if this is my fault too. Yep, yeah, blame Victoria. Don't, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Because Victoria was still going to torture I'm me. blaming Victoria for everything. Haha. <laughs> could have blown it off. BLP, guys. Damn nice and innocent. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? Do you think David Madsen is involved? He finally got his ass busted, too. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep, too, Dana. We'll see you later. Haha, <laughs> I'm totally lying. So let's see what I can actually rewind about. Like, what did I find out? Rewind faster. I'm just thinking how cool it would be if I actually did have rewind hey, power. Dana. How are you doing? I just can't. Alright. Come on. She definitely. Because the. I know. Dana, so what exactly do you think they- Alright. Sure. What was that whole do 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 back right? Victoria Bounce. Not me. Uh. Oh, crap. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time going through her shit. Damn fucking straight, man. Avenge Kate Marsh. I think she was supposed to say something there, but I think I might have glitched the game. Oh, nice room. Can we fuck up her photos again? Because that'd be awesome. No. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about a unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Ghostwriting. First <gasps> Rachel and now Kate. This is the end of the Vortex Club. All right. Well, let's just use your laptop, I guess. Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. Is there any more? No. Victoria must have her own power if she found time to steal this from my room. Good job. Nice. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. This is fun. Can I, is there anything in here I can fuck up? Pretty please, just let me fuck it up. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Well, I'm just gonna go through everything These until they're- cost more than my wardrobe. Until I can find something that I can, like, totally just fuck up. <laughs> my cookies? Victoria stole my cookies. Now I can't take them back because she'll know I did it. Victoria's a cookie monster. Ah! 
Well, Victoria is about as straight as me. Can I really fuck up something? Let me just go through here. Um, Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. Is there seriously nothing in here I can use? That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. How much? $30. That's $30 for... Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I think there's more in that. That's a lot of bank just to Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Wow. I see what she did there. Like, since... <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Is there anything at all? Nothing whatsoever. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Wow. Whoa, what is that on my slate? Are we fallen angels who didn't want to believe that nothing is nothing? What? I hope Kate finally has her wings now. That's a lot of writing. Are we fellow fallen angels who didn't want to believe that nothing is nothing? And something in memory of Kate Marsh. I don't know what the other word is, but whatever. Let's go. Is there anything in here, like in the bathroom? Oh, hey! I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Fuck the haters. Um, Kate Marsh died for our sins. Oh, okay. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past Kirk. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Wow. Well, probably to hell. Ha! <laughs> so, I have to go crash. <laughs> the only one who tried to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Awesome. See you later. I know how you feel. Trust no one. This bathroom is like way too fucking graffitied. I'm just saying. Do these students like know nothing? I have to talk to you again. Hey, Dana. Very one time, like 20 times. Lady Victoria. Come on. She's dead. What the fuck? I know. Hey, Dana. So, what exactly do you think, Dave? It's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. What? Victoria bounce. Not me. All right, can I go now? Anyway, is there anything here I can snoop around for? Nah. Hmm, all these are like dedicated to Kate. Whatever. Let's go. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Let me guess, we can sit on the bench and contemplate life. Kate 
Katie's dead and I'm sneaking around. Yeah, it's enough of that. With the creepy background music, that was just sort of like, like, blah. Like a rising up in the background. It's like, dun, 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 dun. Principal Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, let me just... Max the ninja strikes again. Whatever. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Come from? Get it? Boo yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. Oh, why not? You trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm. I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. No, you don't. I'm not trying to be a bitch. I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. You sure you will? Because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's going to bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the plays and find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Um, I hope so. I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. And notice that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, Indeed. I just feel weird about some of my decisions. That's because I'm in your head. After I just got your step fully suspended. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? About Kit, Rachel, Kit, Ra Rachel. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's? Dead. Dead. I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you, we will. I wonder like what would happen if I did. Kate. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are <laughs> such a boss, Chloe. I just. Don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? She has a point. We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in crime. And start grown here. Uh <laughs> I do. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. Sorry, I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me at any time, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm, like, still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had wow. no idea you two were that close. Because they weren't. Did she? Well, how does this affect the everyday heroes contest? It doesn't. But what the if I got you suspended? Go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos except one from Max. I'll exactly. Give you a one word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wow. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together? Ah, uh, it is. Instead of turning friends with his Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. 
you yes, you have. Love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine you picked you pick my Max, but we Max didn't spend enter. A lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favorites or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation ha, is I can see my feet. Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? When I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Like the CLP? Shit is about to get real at Rockwell. Let's go find out. <laughs> Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. This is a really long cutscene. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm sure serious. they can. We could go to jail. Not when Blackwell's ex-head of security is at home crying in his basement bunker. <laughs> so we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. I kind of want to do just all four episodes in one setting and then go into episode five. But I'm lucky right now because uh, I'm home alone and I found out I might be home alone for... Maybe another 30 minutes. So I'm just trying to rush this a little bit. So wait, what am I supposed to do? Talk to you. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. Yeah. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lock picking. Thanks to Frank. <laughs> I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. Level um, 100. Unbreakable lockpick. I actually managed to get my Skyrim level to 100. Got the unbreakable lockpick. And that was a dumb... And made it legendary. Yeah. Hated that. I don't want to go that way. Why not? Okay. I'm still eating Snickers. And Twix. Here are the keys. Run for the principal's office. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. I bet he's cute. What if it's a chick? Anyway. Here are the keys. Wow. Run for the principal's office. Okay, okay. I got it. Let's just talk to... No? Can't talk to Chloe. Awesome. I guess we search. Nothing here. Twix! I love having my pump, my Halloween pink pumpkin full of candy. And chocolate. Dead end. key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door. 
Would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No. <laughs> I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, Bill no, Nye, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Just send the text instructions now. I had to, I'm sorry. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me. And thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody It's just a door. No one's ass. gonna hear you bang. Like, outside the building. I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. Professor Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. I can't tell if that's a Harry Potter reference or if that's um Warren another reference I'm just not getting. Let's see if I can find those items. Well, let's use the spinning machine. Release the crack hand. Really? Okay. It's all mine anyway. All right, let's um three more items to go. Oh yeah, hang on. No wait, no. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it, I'm already on my way. There's sugar. Ooh, sugar. All right. Um. Halfway home, Max. Jeez, Warren, zip it. I'm running in the halls. What's this? Science lab, I think. A that'd be a pository. Yes. Here's the sodium chloride box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. All right, let's just open this door. I just remembered something, so give me a sec. Well, Kate, your locker looks so lonely. How does it look lonely? Unless, like, all the other lockers are, like, filled with, like, confetti and shit. This is like a scene in a horror film. Of course, the photography class has duct tape. Tape is mine. Which I actually had a dream about duct tape, come to think of it. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Uh, that sounded bad, but... It's really not, <laughs> but I just I was like trying to put this uh, thing together and all I had was scotch tape and I was trying desperately to try to find like duct tape to put it back together. So it was like weird. Yeah. Ho he. Whatever. Or he ho, whatever. Ah! Okay, is there anything else I can do, like, right about now? Like, fuck shit up? First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Do I go in the bathroom? A long time ago, in a girl's room right here. <laughs> uh, look, I guess. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. Oh my gosh! No trophy. You see that little angel holding up the, um, like, thing? I actually got a trophy. That was just that, not the big trophy, but the little in min miniature one. I'll do a sneak peek of it. But yeah, 
yeah, I got it as a science fair trophy, as an honorable mention, but it's my only trophy I got in my whole damn life, so I am very happy that I get the honorable mention, but whatever. Okay. Fight bomb! Take it easy on the door, Harley. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! And run. Get ready to haul ass. How do you know how to, like, put it together? Damn. <laughs> it's one way to open a door. So fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Well, it's more like what I need to do. I need to get into this room and rewind. And voila! And we just unlock it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, Sissa. Damn Come straight. Now, let's find what we want and feed it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy Thor crap. <laughs> he must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. <laughs> I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Don't tempt me. Just kidding. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. Alright. I will do that. Let's take a picture. Hello. Say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. He's got a nice, like, lots of little knickknacks. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. To inform you, petition. As we see enough signatures for the school to regret, refeat, refee, well, uh, whatever. The plan. It is not my policies, policy to take sides, blah 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 blah. Happy trails, David. Mr. Madison and appeared to inform you until further notice you've been uh hereby placed on suspension. Sweet. Oh my gosh, Warren, shut the fuck up, man. Okay, let's just turn that on and search. <gasps> This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong. Only two more files to go. Let's turn this off. Try not to leave any evidence. Nice plant. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Let oh, hang on. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. Hey, is there, hang on. Ah! Uh, despite recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max success unsuccessfully stopped a fellow student. Tried to. Ah, whatever. I cannot read out loud for the life of me. I am this sorry. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Okay, cool. Um, search these vaults, I guess. 
Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Man, I don't blame the principal <laughs> for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Bad. She's not a dog. She's not a bitch either. I think we found everything in here. So don't even go there, man. I should go join Chloe now. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. If you were the principal of Blackwell, come check out these files. Things would be a lot better. Accuses Just saying. Of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescott's dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescott's always get their money's worth. Your nails Check match your hair. Them. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. That is a really Rachel creepy drawing. Dark room. Over and over. That's it. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Just a bit. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <laughs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got her info. Let's bail. Max should dye her hair a different uh, color. Maybe like we a... shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. <gasps> Do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. Shishi. <laughs> We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? I would take it. Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. <laughs> Just a bit. Are you going to make a big issue out of this? No, or we're taking it. And take the greenbacks for yourself. Oh, yes, please. That instead of lecturing me. No, steal it. Frank knows things about Rachel and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You yes. are super max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts. Hell yeah. And books from Powell and strip clubs. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> you never know. Well, why don't we just take that money and just haul ass out of Arcadia Bay? That's Holy what I would do. Taking that money. Deal with it, Max. I'm in your mind now. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's sure, why not? Week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich, and nobody busted us. So, Squish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Squish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <coughs> Jeez. Snickers! Because I got too many Milky Ways. Mm. I'll save it for later. Thank goodness there's no surveillance cameras, if you know what I mean. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own the heated once pool. You out your rewind power. I've been in a couple of those. So Very nice. I better follow oh, the evil plan. Wrong button. I pressed S instead of W. Alright, let's talk. Boys You're so much taller than me. Like in than Max. Yeah, she Chloe's actually probably my height. Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated.
Damn right, man. Suck. Wait, who's locker of this? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Oh, no shit. Victoria Chase rules. Yeah, right. Alright, let's check out these bathrooms. Dear Kate, I don't care. God. Well, I mean, that guy doesn't really... I'm not going into it. Look at this mirror. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. Pink goo, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Damn right. Oh, this is like the little shower room. With the door that leads out to the pool. This is a horrible location for a shower. I am just saying. Cause, like, someone could just open up the door and then, like, see all these girls here. Oh, wow, I'm just saying. Let me look around before I talk to Chloe. They say no running, but I'm running. Huh. I'm looking around. Not the Christmas tree. I'm still running. They say no running. Watch, like, me trigger an Easter egg and watch me, like, slip and land in the pool. No, my phone! Whoa. Don't touch. Oh, is this for, like, the end of the world crap? Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decision. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. Yes, let's remove names. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions. Decisions. Yes, that'll be fun. Oh my gosh, diving board. Hells yeah. How deep is this water right here? Let's see if there's any, like, if they actually put any deepage. Are they not that, like, accurate? I'm guessing this is at least 12 feet. I mean, detailed, not accurate. What the hell am I talking about? All right, let's talk to Chloe. Chloe! Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. What sharks? Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. <laughs> I just realized. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Oxygen kit. I, let me look at it. There we go. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Awesome. Anyway, um... Sharks bite. Well, so do I. Oh my goodness. I'm not even going to go into what I actually want to say, because they'll bring back... It'll just make me look bad, so I'm not going to say it. A uh, drawer. Yes. Yes, we get it. Otters. I love her tattoos. I am just saying. Time to do or die, Max. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Hell's yes. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! I have a feeling the creators enjoyed this scene a little too much. You are so obvious. And I still 
people get freaked out by that movie, so stop. <laughs> I don't watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> those two, man, I ship it. I think the creators did too. I'll just I'm just saying. Otter's revenge, cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. I've actually tried that, and it does work, but it's super awkward because, like, your whole front is just like poking out of the water. She would totally super love awkward. Being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related, and I want to find out why, for Kate's sake, she didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. No, that's me. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Yay! Hey, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Twice. Not that time. That's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. <laughs> and we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Oh. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Gross! <laughs> Ew. I don't want any Blackwell bros over me. There's a couple cute guys there, but... They probably think I'm a total nerd. Uh, nerds are hot. You just don't have any confidence yet. Unfortunately, that didn't come with my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Yes. So sad. Two queens over the world. Just kidding. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other. Otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jump. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. That is very true, actually. When you get out of, like, something really hot. And you just like, you probably already know, so I'm just gonna zip it. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You looked cute. That's because you did. Chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide. Okay, so I'm in the girls' locker room. Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Oh crap. How does like he not see like the two heads poking out on the other side of that window? Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. Okay, 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 I'll hide. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? Oh, God. Hello? Anybody there? No. Just keep walking. Okay. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. No. Who's here? I wish I had X-ray vision. Flashlight and a stick. You're so invisible. Yay! 
You move so slow when you're, like, sneaking around. The loading screens are so fast! I love it! Okay. Pizza. <laughs> truck. It's it's a truck. I'm just clarifying. I ship it like these two in this series is like my OTP but like my overall OTP of just everything in general Sebastian and CL from Black Butler I'm just saying it now hate me if you want I want one of those Insta cameras. Photo bomb. <laughs> it feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. Awesome. I, I don't. Photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. You won't be rejected, Every Max. Artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town, you want to torch out of here since since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm you won't get rejected because the teacher has a weird fetish with you, it seems like, because he keeps Rachel mentioning you in class. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a <laughs> today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back. Somehow. Whatever. I just admit you're not gonna... Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Mm-hmm. Let's get dressed. Ugh. It still reeks like a chlorine factory. Yeah, it takes forever to get chlorine out of the smell of clothes. I haven't been swimming in a swimming pool for like two years and my swimsuit still smells like chlorine. I am just saying. That shit lasts forever. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size, but not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. Yeah, Max. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. <laughs> but it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Just... Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. 
Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. Whoa! Yes, I already knew this was coming. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Hell yeah. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. So I was thinking I was about this when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Earlier, you know how whenever Max like has something from the future and then she rewinds and she's like holding it and it comes back to the past with her? Well, what if she like held Chloe's hand and then rewound? Wouldn't she bring future Chloe back to the past with past Max? It's just a thought. I mean, at least I want- I would- I would try it. I'm just saying that if I had this power, I would try it. See if I can't bring people with me back to the past. Like I can't objects. Just a thought. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, shaka bra. Maybe not. <laughs> Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to- uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Okay. Oh uh, my god. That smells so amazing. Uh, okay. Oh, he bought an extra one? Well, that's too bad. It's like when we were kids here. Blue hair! I look hot on Chloe, but pink hair looks hot on me. I am just saying. Alright, let's go downstairs and see what's up. I might have to end this episode soon, guys. Just FYI. And new Lefty586 signing out. Uh, bye, guys.